Uh, we are at NetBrain booth uh, at Cisco Live San Diego. With me, I have uh, Willy Takang from Capital One. And Willy, do you want to tell us a little bit about your job at Capital One? Uh, yes, so I am what they would call a senior platform engineer. Uh -huh. um, I basically do voice DevOps, basically uh -huh. build it only, uh, make it work. It's very cool. Uh, for how long have you been using NetBrain? Um, personally, I think we are going on two years now, uh -huh. but it, it could have been longer. I just got introduced to it about two years ago okay. when, when we acquired it. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Two years? Yeah. Uh, what have been your uh, change in your, how has your job changed before and after NetBrain? Um, well, as far as creating uh, diagrams, it has gotten a whole lot easier. Mm -hmm. I mean, it used to take a long time creating video diagrams to show everything that we have. It has made the troubleshooting a whole lot easier mm -hmm. because you can find problems on the network without much ado. Okay. And I mean, overall, everything has been smoother as far as creating documentation, creating diagrams, troubleshooting, you know. So give me an example, like uh, documenting a site before and after NetBrain, how much time did you save? Uh, like how, how, how long would it take before to document your network and what is it right now? I would say it would take 40 hours. 40 hours? Yeah, I mean if you're, if you, if you're going end to end, so from the beginning, let's yeah. say what you were doing before you if you were doing this manually. Yeah. It, it, we have... It would take over 40 hours. Yes. And right now it's... Uh, it's a snap. It's a snap? <laughs> yeah, it's a snap. Nice. Uh, what about troubleshooting? An average problem that you are trying to find NetBrain without NetBrain, how is it different? Um, I mean, it's become a whole lot easier because you are able to pinpoint what the problems we are just by looking at the... Uh -huh. at the dashboards yeah. um, because NetBrain has taken care of isolating the problems for you um, even before you so once that ticket is generated yeah. it has isolated the problem and all you have to do is now look at it yeah. and then find the, the solution so the, the, the time frame has it has cut down the amount of time we spend in trying to look at problems yeah. just have you guys implemented uh, auto-triggered uh, mapping and troubleshooting with NetBrain? I, I, I don't think so. Not not yet? Not yet. Uh, what do you think about, what are your thoughts on the NetBrain 8.0 demo that you just saw at Cisco Live? Um, oh, it was really interesting. Um, actually, I was very impressed with what I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, we get to migrate to that version uh -huh. to get all the other functionality. What, were, what was your favorite highlights? Um, the um, the auto generation, uh -huh. uh, the, so the, the, the triggering of new maps, you can uh, trigger or generate a map directly from, say, service map, yeah. which we do use. Yeah. Uh, I think that would, would uh, really enhance the work we do. That's very cool. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that. Uh, one last question for you. Uh, there are a lot of people who are evaluating NetBrain right now as a customer on an enterprise network for two years you've been using NetBrain. What, well, what would be your advice to them? Uh, go get it. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, there's no magic to this. Just get it. Thank you, you, so you, you would like what you get. <laughs> Thank you so much, Willie. Uh, really appreciate your time today.